So I just got a Facebook message from the wife of one of my good college friends, Daniel. Caroline writes to me, Dear Trig, I'm planning a surprise 28th birthday party for Daniel. I'm going to be secretly flying in his best childhood friend all the way from Boston. They haven't seen each other in years, so this will be a really big surprise. Wondering if you might be able to find a way to make Daniel's friend Josh magically appear. Can you do this? Is this even possible? Thanks, Caroline. Of course it's possible, though it is going to involve a trip to the magic store. The best magic shop in the world. Hey everyone, my name is Josh and um, I'm one of Daniel's uh, childhood friends. I've known him since he was literally zero. His wonderful wife Caroline is flying me down to surprise him for his 20th birthday. But the best part of it is they have a friend who's a magician who's literally going to make me appear. How cool is that? Dan sings happy birthday. That's when we're going to make Josh appear. Two, three, go! <laughs> wow. All right. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Surprise! I'm not sure if I was going to be able to make it, so I actually got you a, uh, I got your birthday card. Um, but I'm really excited because I actually get to deliver the contents of the card in person. Sometimes, you know, we try and, you know, we try and mail stuff, we try and get things along, right? So I'm actually, well, I'm delighted to, to present to you the contents in person. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh! Assembly. So most people would uh, say that good things come in small packages, right? But as you can see, we don't really subscribe to that rule around here. Back here, we're going to put this. Chair over here. Every uh, every present needs a few things. It's all in the packaging, right? You need one box. You need the uh, box number two. Excellent. The uh, box number two. Side box number one. Now, all we need is the surprise. Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> 